Thanks for joining us for this evinced training. In the first two videos, we saw the basic flow and examined some of the accessibility issues that evinced detects automatically. In this video, we're going to cover two important concepts. The first is the concept of a session, and the second is about components or repeating code patterns and how these can be extremely useful. Let's start with sessions. As we discussed in the basic flow video, at a high level, a session is a container for you to group together issues found across multiple pages. It's a tool you can use in order to model a user flow or a specific version, etc. Let's dive in a bit deeper. Usually, you would want to create a report for more than just a single page. It could be for a portion of your web application that comprises multiple pages. That's why we created the concept of a session. For example, a new flow that was added to your application that spans multiple pages and page states. When you test all of this, it's stored as a report for one session. While the concept of a session is very useful in order to aggregate issues and keep things neat, it does pose some challenges. Let's say that you started a session and are analyzing a dropdown. Your page is now in a certain state. You click on the dropdown and now the element options are added to the DOM and we are in a new page state. Events discovers more issues in the open dropdown. You can see them using the highlight issues option. Now you close the dropdown and go back to the original state. Technically, the issue does not appear on the page anymore, but you still want events to keep a record of it in the report because it actually does exist. Hence, in the context of this session, this issue will always be associated with this page. If you or your developers fix the issue and you want to retest the page to make sure it's fixed, you must remember to start a new session. Otherwise, if you try to test it in the context of the old session, the issue will still appear in the report for the old session, even though it has been fixed. Now, in a new session, you can test the flow again. One other thing you need to keep in mind is, what defines a session? What are the boundaries of a session? By default, a session is defined by the top-level domain. For example, if you want to test a flow that spans four pages, let's say acme.com, login.acme.com, acme.com slash book, and acme-payment.com. The first three pages will be contained in the session because they are defined by the same top-level domain, acme.com. The fourth page will not be a part of the session because it is a different top-level domain, acme-payment.com. You can see all your sessions in the drop-down menu on the Report tab. It's important to note that all the data for these sessions is stored locally on your machine in the Chrome browser storage. Since this is limited, as you start filling up your storage, you may notice a degradation in performance. But don't worry, before that happens, Evinced will notify you about your storage running low. When you see that message, it would be a good idea to delete some session reports to free up some space. You can always download a CSV of a session report before you delete it. We recommend that you take a look at the Creating a Report video, where we talk about how to create, edit, and download a report from Evinced. Now that we've covered the concept of sessions in depth, let's talk about another important concept, which is what we call components. Essentially, components are repeating code patterns that Evinced algorithms automatically detect. The problem that having components solves is the issue of overload. Typically, if you run an accessibility scan on a page, it will throw out a large number of errors, and usually reports are very noisy. However, often, you don't really care about the number of issues. From the perspective of fixing them, you care about the number of unique issues. Say, for example, you have a calendar widget where the box for each date is made of a bunch of divs and they do not have any supporting ARIA role. Evinced will detect 30 interactable role issues, each corresponding to a date in the calendar. But from the perspective of fixing this, you just need to fix it in one place, and you will automatically solve 30 critical errors. The Evinced Components feature was designed for this sort of use case. 
We have implemented algorithms that look for repeating code patterns and group them together in what we call components. Now you can use this to reduce the total number of issues to unique issues and focus on a much smaller list to fix or remediate. In the Events Report tab, one of the columns is called C Group. This is a unique group ID, so you can search for a particular value and see all the issues associated with that group. We're going to improve the UI in a later release to be able to see only the group view, expand, collapse, etc. For now, you can see and use the data via search, sort, and filter. So that's it for now about sessions and components. In our next video, we'll take a deeper look at how to create and extract reports. Thank you for watching. For more information and examples, visit us on our website, knowledge base, medium blog, and code pen profile.